Hello everybody and welcome back to the new safe hour. We are back again and I think in our last episode we did our final hush kill. So I think we're ready to go. Uh, I think this time I'm gonna go as Job I think maybe? I don't know who should go as first, I I'll be honest. Maybe we'll go as Eden. Eden's always a fun one. Let's give Eden a go. I like Eden as a character. I didn't realize we have some modded characters we need to play. Some that we've unlocked recently. Um, five pages to craft um, a solid door stopper. What? What the hell's this? Um, select pages by killing enemies and completing rooms to upgrade the book before collecting enough pages to upgrade tells you how many pages are needed for each level using the book while it has a number on it will consume the book and something i have honestly no idea uh so for one we have we do have piercing here which is really nice i'm not exactly sure what our passive item does other than piercing but we definitely have piercing which is yeah pretty awesome okay so we got a page here And another page there. I'll be honest, I have no idea. 49 pages to craft a masterwork. Yeah, this is confusing to me. Uh, so, basically what I'm thinking is I kill enemies, I get these pages. Using these pages, I can do, I can create other things using the book. But I would have assumed there, would get, there was going to be a counter for how many pages I currently have. There is not, so that kind of scares me. Also... This floor scares me because I've still got that bug with the potential for getting a triple curse, and that's always scary. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this um, what this passive item I've got does other than give me piercing. Okay, the book has upgraded. Oh, wait. Hmm. I feel like I may have... Um, I may have whiffed on that, haven't I? On use, the player can fart, make dips, or fly, spawn poops, or in a rare case, get a collectible to poop. Not terrible. Not great. Ares, thank you. This could be our planetarium unlock run if we're lucky. It could be, it could be. You never know. We can only hope. Ares is also just a decent item anyways. It gives us that nice speed boost. But yeah, so what I was what I think was meant to happen there is that um I could have upgraded it further to get um a bunch of stuff, but I kind of whiffed on it. It's basically fine. I mean, I was kind of experimenting with it anyways. It's kind of one of those items where if you don't properly understand the item description, it's super easy to waste. And I'll be honest, I didn't fully understand it. I thought it would just, like, use the book, not consume it, but it did say that it was going to consume it, so I should have known better, but hey ho, it's done now. Ooh, uh, really, really good. We get stat up while we're midway through a charge. That is very, very nice. The higher our item charge, though, the better this will be. My god, it keeps spawning new things. It's so annoying. Right, get you two as well. I realize you want to be involved and stuff, but please stop. Ah, that was a bastard and a half. That was... That was really idiotic of me. I think this is the item where in which... Um, when there was no curse, Grant Stats. It's currently a curse. I think this is better, I'll be honest. Health up? Very much like that. Okay, um... Yeah, I think this is the item where when we pierce, we gain increased damage the more enemies it pierces through. I cannot remember what you're about to do. I'm fairly sure you're going to shoot at me, but I don't know. Blighted Oven Rework is super cool. Yeah, there you go. I had a feeling that was coming. He gets his little speed boost going. At least he's got good visual tells as well now. I really, really think this is, like, a fantastic rework of a boss. Because it is a, a full, full rework. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Um. So, maybe, maybe we're only on two hush kills. Because I definitely didn't get a door here. Um. I thought we'd done that last time. Maybe not. Anyways, let's go for a hush kill regardless. 
Let's go for a hush kill regardless. Prosperity. Can't remember what prosperity gives us. But yeah, essentially now every other room we get um we get some stats. And then we lose them again when we get a charge. As for the question of the day today, um What is your most recent purchase that you are surprised by? Because I just recently bought a oh my god, I'm so bad. I just recently bought a massage gun. And I was kind of expecting it to be just okay. I was thinking, eh, this won't make that much of a difference. It won't be that good. And honestly, it's the best thing ever. It's so damn good. It's so damn good. Because I've started running recently. I've been kind of talking about this. I've started running and um, my friend has one and he suggested it. Oh my god, we got pride pin? Hell yeah. Uh, I seem to get pride pin all the time. God damn. Very, very nice. Um, we're also getting double pennies for some reason. Oh, I'm guessing that's what prosperity does. Oh god. Bad hits all around here. Oh, we got a holy card. Something we haven't actually unlocked yet, but thank you. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say, my friend has one and recommended it, and oh my god. It's so good. If you do any sort of, like physical exercise even for your job i kind of highly recommend it it's 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 pretty awesome basically just like it's a big old ball thing that, you, that vibrates really fast and you put it on your muscles and it's it's great like while you're doing it it does kind of hurt your muscles a little bit but that's kind of because just because they're getting better um and oh my god do they feel a lot better oh this is a room that i am not super big fan of I really like the idea of these tacks uh, split um, piercing. It looks a lot better when they pierce. I don't know what this, what that effect is. Nice hand. Pretty much everything into poop there. And then we can kill all the poops. But yeah, it's nice to have a, a holy mantle going. Something we do need to do, actually. People have, uh, have recommended this and, and sort of spoken about this. Is we need to... Um, do our unlocks for like the lost and the keeper and uh, especially the forgotten the forgotten is of course one that we can actually um we can actually go for whenever we want really and we we should make a make an effort to go for the forgotten because it's it's a pretty hard unlock to do and it's obviously a character that's really fun and it's just a new character anyways so I'm definitely down to do that good stuff so far here good stuff so far but yeah, it's, it's, it's always nice that when you buy something and it, it kind of exceeds your expectation. Because, I mean, most times, obviously, when you buy stuff, there's a, like, there's a reasonable chance you're going to be satisfied with the product. Otherwise, you wouldn't have bought it. And unless you do absolutely no research at all into the products that you're buying, which I honestly fail to believe happens in the 21st century, um, then it's going to be a pretty likely chance that you're satisfied with your product. Um... Is this... Okay, this is just poop slick. We don't have to worry about this. Okay. Having a little bit of trouble here. I'm honestly a little bit out of sorts right now because I haven't played Isaac in a couple of days, I'll be honest. Um, I've been I've been just recording other stuff. I, I, I played Risk of Rain. I recorded that and released that um, a few days ago now for you guys. And that was a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to be keeping that series around for a little bit because honestly, I'm just... Um, I'm just enjoying the game. Risk of Rain is just one of those games that's just it's just so enjoyable. It's it's kind of just hectic chaos, especially modded what I'm playing. It's just it's just kind of crazy chaos, but it's a lot of, it really is a lot of fun, and especially like the custom characters and stuff. There's so much new stuff to do. That is a game that I highly recommend. And then I was playing as the sniper in the episode I released and Honestly, uh, as someone that's played FPS games, especially as a sniper in uh, a lot of different um, games throughout my life, that character just speaks to me on a primal level. That character just so good. Ooh, you listen. No, you listen. Your listen's really good for us. Yeah, our character is looking messed up, man. Get away from that bomb. That was mine, you shithead. 
You little fucker. How could you? Um, Some sort of paw and then pl uh, placard. I already knew the secret room before uh, Navi went and had a little look over there, but... Right. But after this, it's it's gym time. I wasn't quite sure if that was going to hit me there, but yeah. Straight to gym after this, which is quite late in the day, actually, for me. Um, it's like 8 o'clock now, so it's going to be like... Probably like half eight by the time we finish this episode. Maybe a little bit later than that, depending on what transpires. Um, yeah, depending on what, what goes on. I'm hoping I can get my devil deal here. I really am. Ooh. Now this. This is risk. And I will take said risk. What? I literally took that health down, knowing it was a health down. Can any anyone in the science community explain to me why my brain considered that a good idea? Because I cannot fathom. And I lost the devil deal as well. Are you kidding me? Why, oh, why am I so special? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, I'm so special. Nice. And I didn't even get the devil deal. Oh, that is... That is a depression that, that... That runs so deep and so true. Oh, Lord, that was that was awful. That was awful. But yeah, um, I'm definitely wanting to, over the next sort of few months, branch out the channel a little bit um, and, and do some other stuff and try and... I don't know, try, try new things and stuff, because... I feel like Isaac has basically run its course on YouTube, I'll be honest. I'm I'm not saying for me, like I could I could play Isaac until I die, I'll be honest. Um and I'm not planning on stopping it if people are still watching. It's still gonna stay as a series, but um based on my Isaac views and Isaac views of other people in the community uh, that I've that I've witnessed, people aren't watching this game anymore. Not not much at all. Over the past, like, three months, my views have, like, halved on these Isaac episodes. It's kind of crazy, actually. And I'm not really a particularly, um, like, I'm not massive into views. I don't really, I don't do this for money, so I don't really care if I don't get, like, crazy views. But it is always a little disheartening, especially a series that I do daily, when it goes from getting, like, two and a half K views to getting 600. It's like, oh. Oof. The depression is real. But the good thing is, it gives me reason and opportunity to branch out into other games. Um, and while those games will pro perform equally or worse, almost definitely, it's nice to have a bit of variety. I mean, we're getting back into The Binding of Isaac a little bit more. Hopefully people are enjoying the extra episodes that we're putting on of those. I really like that. Uh, being able to try out a lot of the custom character mods and stuff. Um, of course, Peglin's still in the mix. I know a lot of you really like Peglin. There's a few of you out there that are that are deeply, deeply into that game. More so than I ever thought. There's a few of you out there that have said that, that Peglin was one of your games of the year, which honestly, like, it's a great game, but I was not expecting anyone to say it was their game of the year. So it's interesting to see that, and definitely a game that I want to stick with and, and keep around for uh, at least as long as I can handle it. Um... Which should be a long, uh, should be a good while. Um, what in the f happened there? Do you see that enemy like devolved into two bomb flies? What the hell was that about? Um, yeah, and then as well, like darkest dungeons coming. Of course, I was talking about that in the last episode. I'm actually really, really excited about that. That's that's something I'm pretty hyped about. Oh, bed bug. We always get bed bug, and it's always terrible. Give me that back. Um, I think I'm going to pay this guy out. I think I'm going to get you to pay out. Yeah, thank you, sir. Just think we need a little bit more of an oomph, especially after that stupid health down pill play that I uh, unfortunately accidentally made. That was the big stupidity. I'll crack that open. I'll likely get health back. Oh, 
I said it just like herping for the best. Didn't work out. But yeah, Pride Pin here is doing really, really well. But yeah, there's, there's other games that I want to sort of play as well. Um, Revita would be a, a series that I'd really like to bring back. That's a series that actually, this is this is the one of the big things with YouTube. Like, sussing out, like, what's going to be the next big game, or what's going to be the, even just the next big game for you in general. It's a really hard task. Like, I thought Revita was going to go wild. I thought that game was going to break it wide open and do, like, splendidly for the channel. I was severely wrong. It did not do well at all. It, it, like, got, like, a good amount of views for the first, like, three episodes. And then just, like, nosedived and did absolutely awfully. It's still a game I'd like to bring back because I enjoy playing it. And at the end of the day, the main reason I'm doing this is to play games that I enjoy. So I would like to uh, bring it back for that reason. But, um... Yeah, I also want to try and make sure I'm spending my time wisely on series that the, the most amount of people will enjoy, if you know what I mean. I want to make sure that I'm sort of getting the most out of my time, essentially. Really? That is an offensive, offensive crawl space. I could have got an Eternal Heart, and you give me that. Deeply unsatisfying. Ooh, we got a Mega Poop. Hello. Flight Around Poop Mountain. What a name. What a name for a boss fight. The flight around Poop Mountain. I love it. Oh, really? Look, I didn't lose my Devil Deal there, though. Fighting up a storm over there. Hey, it broke it right as it uh, spawned everything. I will take this under the guides. Oh, little baggy. Um, it didn't actually do too much bad for us, to be honest. Uh, and I will check out this. It took some HP away, though. Um, I'll take Goat Head, and I'll go for my, my first statue here. Although, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not particularly prepared for this. Um, I would like to take Flyboy, but it's still broken, unfortunately. I really like the fact that you always get a red chest for doing that. That's so good. Right. Nice. Things are going reasonably well here. Let's move on. I don't know if we're going to end up getting uh, boss rush here. Honestly, we're, we're a little bit... I don't know. We're not super slow, but we're a little bit on the slow side. And honestly, I don't really feel like I have great amounts of damage. If I could get like a better active and a bit more damage here, then that might be something I think about. By the way, also, I, I, I haven't addressed this uh, in a while, so I apologize. But I did have... Um, I did have, like, my, my list of unlocks, and a peep, some people said that a few of them sound really, like, impossible. Also, by the way, I do have to say that some characters... I need to actually fill in my, um... Fill in my thing. Unlocked. Unlocked. Just writing that under the deleted. Uh, Golem's unlocked. Deleted's unlocked. People were saying Fiend is too hard having all black hearts, and, um... So was, uh, Zack reaching 10 luck without perfection i don't really think it sounds that hard to reach 10 luck without perfection to be honest we've done it plenty of times we don't have a lot of range here do we oh shit those teeth hurt me whoops i think some of those are doable there is some other ones like the arachna unlock which is like get three spider themed items i might have done i honestly just don't know uh, so i apologize if i have done that and haven't noticed please 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 any of you that are paying close attention let me know because i'm sure you'll have a much better better eyesight for it than i do just That was a bit terrible, unfortunately. A little bit terrible. This, like, these um, wave shots that are, like, downgrading enemies are really, really good. Did I just did I just push that penny into that enemy? What the hell happened there? My shot seemingly just pushed that coin directly into that enemy. It's a risk. I'm taking it. We got... Not terrible. Not amazing. What the fuck? On use gives burn effects to all enemies in the room. Weaker version of the kindling book.
Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. I think we've burned ourselves a little bit here, I'll be honest. Our fire rate is just absolutely dookie now. Oh my god, it's it's abhorrently awful. Also, that rainbow... Dude, our fire rate is so bad. Okay, this, this run might be over. That fire rate is genuinely the most awful thing I've ever seen. Like... This is me holding down the fire button. Like... It seems to fire in bursts too, what's going on with that? My goodness, this is not... This is not good. This is not good. I would like another reroll, please. I would very much like another reroll. Also, I think Boss Rush is now pretty much out of the question. Those two are nice. I'll take them. Like, I kill quick when I can shoot, but I just can't shoot very often. I also got E. coli and Midas Touch, so I could get a lot of money here if I could uh, get away with being invincible and walking into enemies. Zappity zoom. Let's go. What a weird run this is. This is I think I think this is my first run that I've re-rolled as well. Unfortunately I didn't have flight because I need to re-roll out of having flight to unlock Icarus. So that's something that's on the list at the minute. That we haven't managed to do so far. Well, get out of here, you. Shop could be good. There's flight. <laughs> we can't re-roll out of it, though. That's some damage. I was hoping we'd get some fire right here, so we got a little bit. It's not a lot, though. Oh, actually, to be fair, that's a, pr that's a pretty good increase over the fire rate we already had, to be honest. It's not a, it's not a low amount. Do, 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 do. Oh, really? Champion medal? No, no, no. No, 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 champion medal. That is doo-doo. We're also at six luck almost here, so... The luck keeps rolling in. We could get something special going on here. Okay. Yeah, boss rush is out of the question now. Hush is still plausible, though. Just the way it is. I think eye drops is making things a little wacky as well. Eye drops is certainly doing some stuff to our build. Ooh, do you know what I just had as well? I just had a nice big pot of curry. Homemade curry. Had a Rogan Josh. It was delightful. I've been craving, like... I, I've, I've, I've mentioned it on the channel many times before, but I am well into spicy food. I, I really do love spicy food. Um, and, like, recently, I, saw, I sort of went off spicy food a little bit. Um, like, I, I wouldn't say, like, it's not like I didn't like it or anything. I, just, I wasn't having much of it. Um, but then, ooh, Eternal D6, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. Although that was not very much damage, considering. I was expecting significantly more damage than three. Um, but yeah, um, like it's not like I, I didn't like it anymore, but I just haven't been having a lot of spice recently. I just, I don't know why. I just hadn't been having a lot of spice at all. But then like over the past like week, maybe two weeks, probably a bit longer, probably the past two weeks, ah, unfortunate. I've just had this really strong hankering for, like, phenomenally spicy food. I just want the most heat that I can possibly get. So I've been, like, throwing chilies and everything. And I was just like, oh, 
I need to make a curry. But unfortunately, the curry was didn't end, even end up being that hot. Uh, it was still really nice, though, but because my girlfriend was eating it too, I didn't want to, like, overdo it. I did add extra chilies to mine, but even then, it wasn't, like, it wasn't crazy. Um, and I, I probably should have added a bit more. Ooh, thank you. One memento, por favor. I'm doing this for a specific reason. It's not working out so far. Damn it, that was worthless. Basically, what I was trying to do there is make the machine pay out so that I could unlock um, unlock whatever character it is for making all the machines pay out in an arcade. Who is that again? Um, Mammon. Mammon is fully pay out in arcade, so I was trying to do that there because it was only two machines. So I was like, oh, that could be pretty easy, but sadly not. That's another one people s seem to assume was going to be, like, ridiculously hard. But you got to remember... There's some arcades that have, like, one machine or two machines. That still counts. Like, as long as we fully pay out every machine that's in the arcade that we find, it counts. Yeah, we've definitely missed bottles here. Kind of bullshit that... 1.5 times damage only gave us an extra three. Was hoping for so much more. Holy shit. Look at this wall. Wall of color. Okay, that didn't work at all. I was hoping it'd actually freeze her, but apparently it doesn't work on bosses. I mean, it makes sense because freezing doesn't work on bosses, but I thought it'd maybe work here because it was a card. I don't know why. Bad idea. Ooh. The negative, and it is glowing too. We can get our second key piece from here. Um, in fact, if we take this, blow you up. Honestly, they just bomb you. Holy shit, that's a cool attack. I was not expecting that. That was a very cool attack. And then we take this. We get Horror Babylon. Oh, we also get Black Feather, too. Empty Heart Container. We don't actually want that, so I'm just going to hold on to that. Tears up. Okay, our tears have reached a level that I'm finally happy with. They're still not great, but I'm finally happy. But I should have used my uh, Eternal D6 here, but now... With this run, we can actually go Mega Satan. I'm a little bit dubious if we're going to actually make it to um, to the hush, I'll be honest. I'm going to try, but even if we do make it, our HP isn't great. Wait, am I, am I not able to hit... Okay, I thought I wasn't able to hit those enemies for a hot minute then. I was like, excuse me. Right, ain't no wrong way is going to mess me up this time. Ain't no wrong way is going to get me down. Ooh, I didn't realize that guy was a a death champion. Them champions are very nice. It'd be cool to see some items that made certain champion variants more common. Like, even just trinkets and stuff. Because it'd be, it'd be really good to, like, have more of that specific type of champion. Because although they are harder to kill, they allow you to kill other things in the room easier, which is kind of nice. By the way, where's this health link guy? What the hell? I'm so confused. That was a very confusing situation there. Holy hell, why is this, why is this room so laggy? Is it because of all the connecting bits of these guys' heads? I think it is. Game does not like that. But yeah, finally got a tolerable amount of fire rate, which is really nice. Good, good. What in the Lord? Did you see how fast that guy came at me? That guy came up with a, the fury of a thousand fists. 
Here's another question as well. What's a, what's a YouTube series that you guys have been watching um, recently that you've been unexpectedly really enjoying? Because I've uh, I, I answered this as a, as a reply to someone in a comment recently, but I feel I have to reiterate it. I've been watching. I kind of got into like watching Elden Ring content when I started playing Elden Ring, and someone that I found was Iron Pineapple, who's like a, a big content creator for Dark Souls games. And honestly, his um, his videos. Are, honestly, this this is not a room I want to be in at all. Is it? Oh, that hit me. Fuck! I did not think I was close enough for that to hit me. Goddamn bomber boy! Why you do this to me? Um. Yeah, um, he's got a series um, where he basically just reviews Souls-like games on Steam from, like, lowest tier to, like, really good games, uh, as long as they're, like, not very well known. And, oh, it's so entertaining just watching him review all these games. And I've learned about some really cool games through it as well. Yeah, this, he, he's done a really good series. He did, like, he showed, like, Loot River, anything that's got any sort of Dark Souls-like elements. Oh, gosh. Why didn't I re-roll this? That was so dumb. So dumb. Why didn't I re-roll that? I'm gonna have to live with my regrets now. I will re-roll that. Bob's brain, fuck you, okay. Number one. It's a lot more fire rate at least, wow. Okay, those guys just insta paid out. That was uh, peculiar to say the least. Very, very strange. Again, just no to this room. Oh, fuck. I'm drowsy. Please say I can make boss rush here. Not boss rush, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. Little hushy boy. Is that another full run reroll? Because if it is, I'll take it. It is. And I rerolled out of flight. Huzzah! Icarus has been unlocked. Icarus unlocked. Huzzah, huzzah. Um, what does this run look like? Um, interesting, I guess. We have very low speed. It seems like we have more damage. We have very bad HP. The low speed might be a killer here. Oh, God. The low speed is real bad. Good thing is we have a lot of damage and that works really well with what's it called? Um toxic shock here. I'm unsure what's going on here. Honestly, it feels like I'm moving through quicksand. This feels real bad. It's always weird how you get a reroll and sometimes you seemingly keep some items. I also don't know what this penny does. Oh, there's an enemy over there. Oh, that hit me? Fuck. It's okay, it's okay. Oh my god, the speed. I thought I'd like Taurus or something at least, but no, I just have really low speed. Crushingly, horribly low speed. Okay, we should we, we should make hush here pretty easily, but do I do I trust myself? What, dude? Okay, so there's some hot ball hot bollocks horse shit going on in which sometimes I can spawn slippy creep under my own body, of which I am not immune to. So I start slipping around and can't move. Oh, wait, the item decayed? Are you kidding me? 
I opened the chest and I was like, cool, cool. I'll, I'll get that in a second. No, the item decayed. Great. Great. Thanks for that. I could have used pause there to get a, to get a free kill, but I don't know about that life. Um... Hanged man. Doesn't really do much for us. Try and find the crawl space, I guess. Didn't do a great job in that room. There was a tinted rock there, though. That's nice. Okay, no crawl space. Unless it's that single rock in the other room. Which would surprise and baffle me. In fact, I'm going, I'm going whole hog here. I'm blowing up every rock to hope for the best. Damn it. Right, what does this active do? Chance to spawn a coin, 25% um, chance to spawn a card pill, a variety of effects based on the current room and exploration. Good, we at least got the stats there, look. Apparently this guy's been changed now. This, this part of the hush fight has been altered. Very much so, holy shit, this part of the fight is way harder now. Oh my goodness, this is hard. You see this slippy shit? What's spawning all this slippy shit? I'm not immune to it, and it's bollocks. I can barely move. What item's doing this? It's stupid. It's entirely negative. It's not giving me any benefits. All this slippy crap. I think it's the item, the, the, the very first item on my item list. Oh, fuck. I am so dead here, I think. I, like, I can't, I'm slipping around like crazy. I can't move correctly. This is just stupid. Who designed that crap? No, I, I'm slipping like crazy and I have super low move speed. I mean, not super low anymore, but frustrating as all hell this is. There ain't no way I'm gonna be able to dodge for this long with this crap going on. I'll be honest, it just ain't happening. Sliding all over like a crazy person. I'm doing a lot of damage, I'll say that for sure. But I don't think that's going to make up for all of this, I'll be honest. Like, the guy's going down pretty quick. Pretty quick indeed. Did he just shoot at my Gorgon? Does the Gorgon sometimes distract? If it does, that's very good for me. But any sort of micro-adjustment movements I've got to make, I feel could be disastrous for us. Honestly, the, the slamming hands coming down. Oh, dude, we also have 14 luck. That's another unlock for us. Zack has been unlocked. Unlocked. People said it was going to be hard. Pfft. No faith. I'm scared of these tears that are just sitting there. Ominously. Okay, he's onto, he's onto this attack, which... This attack is basically just... Sit still and hope for the best. Eh, I hoped for the best and I hoped wrong, unfortunately. I think I've got two HP left. I don't, I honestly don't remember. Oh, fuck me. Ah! I can barely see what's coming. I've got, like, no screen. Oh my goodness, this is 
so fucking scary right now. Oh, why did I move? Why are you so low down, you bitch? He's gonna do the lightning thing soon and it's gonna fucking wreck me. Yep, this attack. You're throwing too much at me, boy. I can't fucking handle it. Get out the ground, you coward. I'm so slippy. I did it. Holy shit. Somehow, I did it. Eden's blessing. There it is. Defeat Hush three times. We did it. Fuck. Me. That was tragic. Anyways, we go down. I, I, I think I'm on one HP. Maybe two. I'm on one HP. Wow. Here's to a swift death. Pedroff, I will punch. If I ever see you in real life, I'm gonna punch you square in the nuts. You, with your door mimic bullshit. After all that pain, this is how I'm rewarded. <sighs> My god. Either way, we finally unlocked the alt path. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.